Welcome back to another PyWare tutorial. Today we're talking about writing backwards. I want to offer some suggestions to you if you're thinking about writing uh, from your very first hit backwards to the beginning and show you some things that you can do to make sure that it turns out exactly the way you want it. Let's jump right in. All right, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about writing backwards. A lot of times uh, people have an idea in their head of what they want the hit to be at page four, uh, but they don't exactly know how they want to work into it. Now, you don't necessarily have to go put your, your anchors on page four and create your first hit set. Technically, you can start on page one and create your hit set like you normally would. Um, let me show you. Say we want to have a block at page four where the band comes in and plays real loud and, and epic and all that good stuff. All right, so let's create real quickly using our box tool. Uh, we'll create a four by four block using our intervals here. And let's go ahead and make that just a four by four. We'll use 16 kids. Okay, we'll put them right here on the grid, on the 50. Of course, you know, if you have 100 kids or 60 kids, you just make this bigger. For the purposes of the tutorial, we'll go kind of quick, okay? Again, if you uh, have not taken my Pyware basic tutorial and uh, you are interested in learning uh, these basic techniques, if I'm going too fast, please check that out on my webpage or in the description below. All right, so as soon as you create that, you can go to your page tab four and that same form is still there because we haven't changed it to go anywhere, okay? So there's our performers, they're ready to go. Let's go work our way backwards to page one. So they'll start scattered, uh, they'll condense, and then they'll rotate. So what we'll do first is we'll get the rotation taken care of. We'll select our performers here. I like to do uh, rotations this way. I, I like to use the resize editing tool. You slant and then I'll bring them in and put them on the grid here nice and easy. Two by two, rise over run. And we'll put them, um, say, right on the 50, why not? Okay, and so now what you've done is you've worked your way back to page three. Okay, so three to four looks like this. And I've got some audio here for my trial audio. and they're there ready to, to play the hit, okay? Not super exciting, but definitely gets the point across. Now, again, you can click the arrow and you can go from page three to page two, okay? And we can make this get bigger. Now, you can use scale to scale from the center. What I find to make sure I keep it on the grid, I like to use the stretch tool and I'll stretch my guys out so they're at an eight step interval right to left. I got 16 counts, so I can really make it big. Uh, let's go there, so four step front to back. Okay, I'll accept that, and then I'll use my push tool here. I like to use this so that it, everything stays on the grid. Now let's bring it back. Good, that's gonna be a little bit small, but you'll get the idea. So now we've animated it back, and it should look like this now. So from page two to page three, it gets smaller and rotates and then boom, and hits, okay? Now if you want to scatter them off from here back to page one, you just take your point tool and you just go ahead and scatter them in the direction that you want them to go. Okay, so we will scatter them off and go here, here, all right, it's gonna do that and we'll just have this form hit out of nowhere. How about that? And we'll just scatter him that way, and this guy that way, and this. You gotta play with it, of course. Uh, we'll have these guys kind of pass through each other. That'll be cool. And there we go. We want to create, you know, as much motion as you can, especially if the music, like this music, has a little bit of mystery to it. And it comes off. Let's see. We'll have them kind of pass through. You come over here. You come down here. And then you go right there. Now, does this look scattered and crazy enough? It might. The funny thing about scatter is it's one of the hardest things to create in Pyware to make it look good. So that looks pretty scattered. And now we've worked our way back to page one where we have 
our drill and it scatters and comes together, boom, condenses, rotates, kids turn around and hit the big hit set. Of course they could do choreography here if they're not playing. And then they re rotate. I don't tend to ever put my forms uh, two steps from a, a, a yard line. I'll put them either on the yard line or splitting because usually when you do two steps from a yard line, the kids gravitate closer to the yard lines and it doesn't look like a solid form. It's just something about gravity that pulls them just that much closer to the, to the yard lines. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and hopefully you can gleam something from it and you can start writing your drills backwards and be more successful with uh, you know planning and getting through all your pages and not have so many times where you you get frustrated because you can't quite get to that hit set. We'll start with that hit set and work your way backwards. If you like this content please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos in the future.